first and I pray. I declare this morning that any family member who stands and is being used by the devil to draw me away from where I'm going. As I lift up my voice and I pray, anywhere they are located, in my mother's side, in my father's side, in my husband's father's side, in my husband's mother's side, in my mother's, in my wife's mother's side, in my, I mean, anywhere they are located, as I lift up my voice and I pray, oh Lord, expose them and scatter, expose them and scatter, expose them, and scatter, and scatter, and scatter. It's working. I will just make that request and I'll invite you. God bless you, I will. God bless you, God bless you. Keep doing it, I'll connect you. I don't know why you are not, but come, I'll do it for you. Come, 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 come. I will, I'll connect you. I want you to join. I want to hear you praying. I want to hear your voice praying. I know, I want to hear your voice praying. It is better for you to come and let me hear your voice praying. And let's have a church together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Kabozi Adedi. Say, my father, my fighter. My father, my fighter. As I lift up my voice and I pray, anybody in my family, from my father's side, from my mother's side, that has been positioned to draw me away from my successor, I declare, as I clap my hands and I pray, Lord, expose and scatter. 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 Lift up your voice wherever you are. Lift up your voice wherever you are. Lift up your voice. Somebody, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Let us pray. Lift up your voice. Where are the prayer warriors? A man's enemy is will be come from your own family. A man's enemy will be coming from your own family. That uncle that is the one who is standing in. That auntie that is standing in. You are the only person in America. And they are fighting you kneel and to die. They are fighting you from every angle. You are the only one that is paying the rent in the family house. And they are fighting you with everything available. Somebody hear the voice of the Lord and declare right now that as you lift your voice and pray, as you lift your voice and pray, may the Lord make it work for you. Come on, lift your voice, somebody. Come on, lift your voice, somebody. And join the prayer tower right now. Declare, 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 declare that the Every person position in my family house that is there to fight me, that is there to reduce my progress, that is there to make me not to arrive at where I'm going to. I declare in the name of Jesus, I declare in the name of Jesus, I declare in the name of Jesus that they will not stand. Lord, expose them, expose them, expose them, expose them, and scatter. And scatter, and scatter, and scatter, expose them and scatter, expose them and scatter. Everywhere they are located, everywhere they are located, I declare right now, I declare right now, I declare right now, everywhere they are protected, everywhere they are protected by strength, and they are protected by other spirit. I pray right now, the Lord, let there be an intervention, let there be an intervention in the name of Jesus. God oh, bless you this morning. Welcome for my prayer warriors. Once we start and I come back praying, all you do is just to mute yourself for me. When I come back, then you unmute yourself and we pray. Then the church will be nice. God bless you. Chris, God bless you. Thank you very much, Nashika. I pray that they name you because they want you to walk in money. I declare by your life, Nashika, that you are going to live by your name. You will be a queen of money. You will be <laughs> adored with money. I therefore, I pray for all of you watching me that you will not go and suffer the pain of the negativity of the name that you carry. Bible says that the life of Mary means, means Mara. Mary means pain. But out of the pain of that innocent daughter of a certain man we don't know, the Savior Jesus Christ was born. He says a good name is better than riches. I declare right now over your life, 
if your name has become a stumbling block for your own self, if your name has become an obstacle, not because of anything, but because of the family you didn't determine to be born from, but you've been born into a family that the name is not giving clearance, I pray right now from the altar of grace that your name is filtered and you are exempted from the negativity of the family, that your name will not drag you into a negativity, but there will be freedom out of your name. In the name of Jesus, Bible says, and Jabez prayed. <laughs> Some of us, our troubles are not coming from anywhere. The family we belong to. The problem we are having is from the family. And so in, in the book of First Chronicles, chapter number 4, and verse 10, a family war happened because there was a man whose name was called Jabez. And Jabez was addressed like the way I just addressed Nashika. Ga, Shika means money in Ga. And regularly, when you are delivered and they give you the name now and they ask Shika to it, from, the, from what they envisage and from what the family is seeing, they are seeing that you shouldn't go through any hardship. That your life must flow with money. The name you are giving, King, they call you King Foley. It means that you should be a ruler. So when you are given a name, the meaning of your name is part of the family problems or withdrawing you back. In the book of First Chronicles chapter 4, Reading from verse number 9. A young man had a name that he didn't name himself. But the family name became an obstacle for this young man. And he has to fight through so that there should be a, a change of a family name. When you come, just mute yourself. When we start prayer, then you are mute yourself. He prayed and he intervened. Just mute yourself while you come. TikTok. Oh, man, why, why mute you? So that we hear the scripture, we know the prayer line. We are praying the word of God. In the book of First Chronicles, the writers can write the scripture for me. Do not write the scripture for me. Give bullet. Anybody there who can write a scripture? First Chronicles. <coughs> Chapter 4. And I'm reading from verse number 9. It says, There was a man named Jabez who was more honorable than any of his brothers. There lived a man who was more honorable. There lived a man who was more richer, who was more blessed in a particular family. There lived a man, Nashika, thank you very much, Adobo, who was more blessed among all other blessed. Now hear me. God is a selective God. So when he came to Jacob and Esau, 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 he made a choice. So God has a way to enter into a family and bless people specifically, not everybody. God bless you, girlfriend. Welcome. God bless you, girlfriend. Take your Bible, girlfriend. You've always been good in reading for me on TikTok. So TikTok, our Bible reader just came, girlfriend. In the book of First Corinthians, First Chronicles, sorry, chapter 4, verse 9. And I'm reading. If God said, when you're ready, you tell me, I'll let you read for me. I love when you read from that angle. Now hear me. There were many brothers. But there was one among the brothers that encountered an angel. That encountered the Lord. And the Lord said to this particular person, And what the Lord said to this person was, you are more honorable. You are more blessed. You are highly favored. 
You have what it takes to become the head of the family. You are better than everyone in your family. You have been anointed to become the leader in the family. Among all your siblings. That's what the Bible says. So, girlfriend, you are blessed. You are more honorable. You are highly favored among all your brothers. He says, than any of your brothers. The new living translation. He said, than any of your brothers. Go for read for me. First Chronicles chapter 4, reading from verse number 9. He says, there was a man named Jabez who was more honorable than any of his brothers. His mother, his mother named him Jabez because his birth had been so painful. Oh, Jesus. The young man growing up had a name. And if it's in our modern times, he will not just be called Jabez by their friends. They'll call him Jabi. Jabi. They will give you, they will make they will make a guy name out of Jabez. The Bible says in the book of First Chronicles, chapter number four and verse nine. Go for it. You can amuse yourself and read when you when you get a scripture. You are my reader. As we are looking at Jabez, working with Jabez in school, he's supposed to be the first. He's supposed to be the best. He's supposed to be the leader. He's supposed to be one of the students who are first class students among all the students. But the family he belongs to, not anybody, his own mother, gave him the name of the blessed. His own mother gave him the name Jabez because he delivered him through pain. Go for it. Go ahead. First Chronicles chapter 4, reading from verse number 9. Let's go. I think, I think, I think Godfrey is having some challenge. Godfrey, where you come? Let me tell me, hallelujah, man of God, I'm here. Go, go ahead. Okay. Read for me from your place. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9. We're going to pray a prayer from that place right now. We are dealing with attack from our own family. Go ahead. 